exploration is something that humanity desperately wants to do. I'm looking for life on other planets. When you're exploring these worlds, braving ice rain and frozen fog, acidic steam scalding your face, wrapped up in your jacket, you don't really notice the feeling on your own body. You're focused, you're searching for these environments where life might be able to exist. And as soon as you arrive, you can tell that they are teeming with life. We don't know how life arose on the Earth, whether it was from space or whether it evolved on the surface of our planet early on in its history. The more we're starting to study Mars, the more we're seeing a complete range of environments on its surface, from volcanoes to ancient hot springs to impact craters. This mixture of fire and ice provides the most incredible environments for extreme loving organisms. The ones we think might exist on other worlds. And that suddenly brings us straight back to the Earth because we have all of these features on the Earth as well. The Earth is a wonderful natural laboratory. I'm searching for the areas with the more extreme conditions because I'm trying to push the limits of my research. Working in these extreme environments is risky. It is dangerous. As long as you've got the right protection, then you're free to explore. I go up a mountain, I'm alone, and it's quiet and peaceful, and you can really just contemplate the amazing planet that you're on. You see that life is surviving in places you never thought imaginable. You can't help but think, surely if it can survive here, it can survive on other worlds. It's just up to us to be able to find it. And that's what astrobiology and space science is. To explore, to discover something new, you can go out there and try and understand the bigger picture.